what if I told you the Navy nearly adopted a pancake-shaped plane? I'm an aerospace engineer and the Vought V-173 was a low aspect ratio experimental aircraft with a circular wing, tip-mounted propellers, and handling like nothing else in the sky. Its designer, Charles Zimmerman, believed placing large propellers at the wingtips will reduce induced drag by disrupting wingtip vortices and maintaining smoother spanwise airflow. That meant ultra-low stall speeds, short takeoffs, and precise low speed control. Key advantages for carrier-based fighters. The V-173 used symmetrical airfoils and three-bladed props that blanketed the entire aircraft in slipstream, enhancing lift and control even at 30 miles per hour. Vought built it as a proof of concept and after 139 hours of flight testing, including several survivable crash landings, the Navy was impressed. They ordered the XF-5U-1, a more rugged, combat-capable version with upgraded engines. But despite promising design specs, including a projected top speed over 400 miles per hour, the XF-5U-1 never flew. The project ran over budget, was delayed by complex transmission issues, and lost momentum as turbojets emerged with far greater potential. 